It's been a while since I worked on my rolling stock and after the completion of my last project I decided it's time to catch up on my backlog of new cars that have piled up over the last year or so. I grabbed this car because it already came with body mounted couplers so I could just start without much preparation. I only added the era specific decals for the ACI labels and the yellow dot markings. The model is nice but the green is really excessive in its greenness so the first thing to do was to tone down the color quite a bit. This was a two-step process starting with the usual fade using a wash of titanium white oil paint. I moved the paint around until I liked the effect and made sure to pick up any buildup of the paint around the small details like letters and levers. The roof received a stronger application of the paint with only a small amount of thinner to create a stronger fade effect. Some of the prototype photos I found showed a pretty distinct yellowing of the paint as well, which I wanted to recreate. I've linked some of the photos I used for reference in the description. After waiting a couple of hours for the paint to dry and sealing the layer with varnish spray, I could start working on the yellowing effect. The yellowing layer pretty much works the same as the fade. I used a wash of raw light ochre oil paint to move the green more towards a yellow hue. After sealing this layer with varnish, I felt the car could do with a bit more yellowing, so I put on another layer of the light ochre wash. This time I cleaned up the white part of the logo with a brush. To do that I loaded up the brush with turpentine oil and brushed off most of it on a paper kitchen towel, basically like you do when dry brushing. It's necessary to clean the brush from time to time to keep picking up paint instead of just moving it around. After sealing this layer, I used a wash of warm grey oil paint to add a bit of grime and dirt. When the wash had dried a bit, I kept brushing down to create different patterns of dirt streaks. The brush is just slightly damp with thinner or almost dry. I also picked up excess paint that might have pooled up around the ladders and other places. When I was happy with the effect, I cleaned up the ribs with the flat end of a skewer. I put just a little bit of turpentine oil on the end to help get the paint off the car. If you use too much of the thinner at this point, you risk the thinner seeping onto the car and disturbing the previous work. After letting this layer dry and sealing it, I moved on to a wash of burnt umbra to represent dried on spray and road grime. I put the wash on as a relatively thin mix and then spread it all around the car body. Then I cleaned up the brush and picked up most of the wash, again making sure that it doesn't pull up in odd places. When I was happy with the result, I cleaned up the side ribs again. Sometimes I apply a wash of burnt sienna without sealing in between, but I didn't want to risk disturbing the effect, so I let the burnt umbra wash dry and sealed it with varnish before moving on. I used a pretty thin mix of the burnt sienna wash and only applied it to the side and ends but not the roof. To add a little bit of visual interest to the car, I decided to apply a bit of the burnt sienna directly to one of the panels where the big logo is located. I pulled the color down with a flat brush. I'm just barely touching the paint with a brush to avoid too strong brush streaks. Then I cleaned up the logo with a small flat brush. I had it loaded up with turpentine oil and brushed off most of the oil on a paper kitchen towel, so the brush was almost dry again. 
I had to replace the oil on the brush a couple of times to properly clean up the logo. After the cleanup was done, I felt that the part below the logo was too streaky, so I used a small and dry deerfoot brush to gently dab the paint into a more uniform texture. I let this layer dry for a while before sealing it. Now it was time to pay a bit of attention to the trucks, wheels and underframe of the car. I mixed Tamiya XF68 NATO Brown and XF24 Dark Grey and brush painted the wheel faces with a mix. Then I prepared a larger batch of the same mix and airbrushed the underframe and trucks. After the paint had dried, I brushed a little bit of Pen Pastel 820.5 Neutral Grey on the sides of the trucks to highlight the details. Finally, I sealed everything with a coat of Tamiya XF85 Flat Clear. And here's the finished car with its Frisco friends sitting on the siding in Glacier. As always, I have listed the paints I used in the video description below. I hope you found this video helpful and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments.